Every time an advert comes up on YouTube, I click it as irrelevant. Because all of their adverts are irrelevant. I don't want what they're selling. I don't care what they're selling. You know? I try to listen to a playlist of music and after every song, you know, one in seven children hasn't got a healthy meal to eat. That's their parents' problem. Why are you putting a little girl in an advert to, to be the narrator, the manipulator? You know? One in seven children. The so-called charities out there that are supposed to fucking help these. One in seven children. But they don't. And then there's... They're useless piece of shit fucking parents are supposed to provide and protect for them. But they don't. And then there's government services. So there's multiple fucking services out there. But yeah, I switch on some music to relax. And I'm being fucking manipulated by some little girl. You know? And then you've got charity muggers out there in, in high streets, you know what I mean? Shaking little cans with money in them. Please, Oxfam, please help the children. You know, Amnesty International, please. You know. And these fairies are just out there trying to m make a, a, a quick book. You know, that's their so-called job. You know. They get little kids, like 18, 19, you know, full of beans and full of fucking... <sighs> just jump out in front of you while you're just walking down the, the high street, thinking about, right, I gotta go down here and... Right, I had to buy a sofa. I had to... I had to do this, I have to do that. And then this fucking charity mugger just jumps out. Hi, guys! Hi, guys! Can I, you know... Full of homosexuality and fucking beans. Get away from me, you little freak. Hi, guys. Fucking... Nah. Full of statistics and... Did you know that one in seven children hasn't got a healthy meal? And? I didn't have a healthy meal. Nobody get a fuck about me. I'm really thinking now with the with, with with the whole coronavirus thing, you know. I've never worn a mask and I never will. And I'm being, you know, basically told by the people that I like, yeah, you must, you must, you must, you must. And I'm like, listen, stick your propaganda up your asshole, right? Let them come to me and tell me I fucking must. You just do your job and shut the fuck up, yeah. Don't come to my home and tell me I must, I must, I must. Don't be the mouthpiece for the fucking state. Don't be the mouthpiece for the Georgia Guidestones. Don't, don't be the fucking mouthpiece at all. Just shh, button it, zip it. Blow me. I'm good at doing character actors. You know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm only awake. Fuck off. Piss off. I'm good at being a character actor. So I'm seriously fucking thinking. Next time I have to go into the city, which is tomorrow, I'm gonna fucking go full retard. You know, I'm gonna wear me fucking Illuminati t-shirt here you know, with the Illuminati eye, just so I can fit in with the rest of these fucking fucktard cunts. And I'm gonna go full Helen Keller. I'm gonna. I'll show you what I mean, you know. Are you going to discriminate a, a, a disabled person? Because, you know, I tell these people that, you know, I have asthma and bronchitis and uh, a medical condition. And they usually back off and say, mm. but now my, my, my friends have told me, no, no, security now will stand in the way and uh, not let you in the store. I was like, yeah, really? I used to be a security guard. I'm not, you know, I'll just play blind, deaf and dumb. You know, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just, 
I'm, I'm strolling around in the darkness, you know, and if you tap me and, and try to speak to me, I'll speak back to you, just like this. How dare you? I just say that. I'm a professional at eating my own. Just watch them all trying to fucking try to take my rights. Then I'll 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 crawl into the fucking shop like like Reagan out of the fucking Exorcist, backwards on all fours like. Uh. <laughs> Now, people, if you won't listen to sense, I'll tug on your heartstrings and then I'll tug on your fucking earlobes and I'll fucking throw my own head into your fucking nose. Right, I'll frighten the fuck out of you. Right. I don't bow down to Bolsheviks or commies or idiots. I don't take medical advice from people that stack shelves in a shop or security guards who stand there staring off into space with a retarded look on their face for the majority of the day, restricting people's freedom. I don't bow to weakness. These people don't even know their own bodies. The symptoms of their imaginary fear is hypercapnia from breathing carbon dioxide and nitrogen. And then they're getting bacterial pneumonia because they're wearing the same filthy mask and they're waterboarding themselves. And they're smearing their spit all over their face. So if you want to act like a complete retard, I'll act like a complete retard, and I'll show you. You know, I'll go full Helen Keller, and I'll walk backwards into the shop like Reagan in The Exorcist, and I'll frighten the fuck out of you, and you'll all want to give me a wide berth. You know, a wide berth. Like a fat girl gone fucking 50 centimetres, you know? Because she's had a... a a child that looks like Alec Baldwin with a big huge fucking head, you know, fetal alcohol syndrome. You know? Just don't, don't annoy me, right? I like to be able to walk into a place and have my thoughts. I don't want to be distracted by your fear. That's, that's what you sound like, these whining fucking babies who've got everything. They've had their food, they've had their milk from their mother, they've had everything. Now they need to go to sleep. Hey! Shut the fuck up! Who do you want to see? Because I can be all of you. I could be nobody. Dirty Harry got all the dirty jobs. But Al. Al's been through absolute fucking hell. And if you want hell brought to you, I will show you. Just a little glimpse. And you can stay the fuck away from me. God brought me through troubled waters for mine enemies can't swim. I'm floating on my back in a riptide. <sighs> well, they're all... <laughs> now, tomorrow I will go into the city on a bus, not wear a mask. And I will go shopping to buy a sofa, a coffee table. The bits and pieces that I need. 
No, I'll even buy a little sofa for dogs. You are, are disrespecting my fucking home. But I give them warmth and I give them love. And they think they can do what they want. But nah. In my house, my rules. That's what these businesses want as well. My house, my rules. But they're not your rules, are they? Forcing women and children to wear face masks is not your rule, is it? You're bowing down to Bolsheviks. You know? You're complicit. In trying to hoard people. Men are like, I'm just keeping my granny safe. Because they're being manipulated. Their natural instinct is to provide and protect. And they're being manipulated. And then women care about people also. And they're being manipulated. But women are being used as the mouthpieces for the state. For the fucking Georgia Guidestones. For the for these controllers. These morons. You know. If you want to cut down the carbon footprint. Go out and plant some trees you fucking fairies. Because trees, they take the carbon emissions out of the air. I'm tired of saying this and nobody fucking realises it. Everybody's just like, but you must. But you must. You will be fine. It's not fine. I like words. Fine. It's not fine. <laughs> Ripped right in front of you. Now you can do me for littering. Keep fucking annoying me. Then you'll have to do me for assault. I'm tired of your crap. This shit should have ended months ago. If your mask works for you. What's the point of social distance? If your mask and social distance works. What's the point of a lockdown? If your mask and your social distance and your lockdown work, what's the point of, an, uh, of a vaccine? If all of these work, why are we being locked down again? Is anybody thinking of that? <laughs> you really, really want the method actor to go out there and just really fucking show you what retardation is all about. Because I'll just destroy my own hair just to get the fucking absolute mongo fucking... Uh, you know? You people. You have no idea. Now you got to ask yourself a question. Do I feel fear? Well... Do you? Skunk. You complicit motherfuckers stink. Fuck off. You've interrupted my breakfast. I'm gonna make some more tea. <laughs>